Uh, I can't wait to watch this match with you, but before we do something pretty big happened in the professional wrestling world. And, uh, you and I think a lot of this guy personally, and we haven't talked about it, but I feel like we should, uh, our great friend, Kevin Nash suffered a loss that nobody should ever have to do. And unfortunately it's something you and Jerry Lawler are all too familiar with. He lost his son, Tristan, just 26 years old. It's hard to believe that that happened just one week ago. And I know you've had a chance to speak to Kevin. Yes. I don't need to know anything that you told him, but I am just curious. No, I just, I just shared with him that, and I don't, you know, I guess I heard that he talked about me on his podcast. Positively. Yes, sir. Yeah. That, you know, and we talked and we did. I just, you know, I was in a different place. I mean, he, he's been with his wife forever. And all the only thing I said to him was that it, you're never going to get over it. Mm -hmm. You just have to figure out how to deal with it. And uh, um, dealing with it the way I did, by just completely th shutting down and drinking for five straight years, didn't, didn't work out, didn't do anything. Right. I was already at odds with um, Beth. And my advice to him was just, you know, hang on to your wife as tight as you can and don't, you know, don't throw blame at each other or, or it just, it just, it's, just, it's there's no way, there's no way to deal with it. You know what I mean, right. it, 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 Reed was 25, his son was 26 years old. I mean, they're just starting their life. Yes. So, and I, I, I've only met Tristan a couple of times and well, what a great kid. So I don't know. I hope I, I hope it, I hope I said something to encourage him. I was, Actually, surprised that he reached out to me, but and of course I sent him a, a note. And I, didn't, I didn't do anything on just making a post or anything. I just think that sometimes that's right. overrated. Yeah. yeah. But I, you know, I'm thinking about him. It'll, you know, and, and not only that, it happened on the eve of of Scott uh, Scott Hall's birthday. Scott, yeah, yeah. Scott Hall's birthday. Scott. So I mean, it was the devil whammy for him because I don't think he, he I don't think he'd recover from the loss of Scott yet. So I just, you know, just shows what a great friend he was to Scott. And, uh, you know, because Scott could be problematic and Kevin never left his side. I've never heard Kevin say anything about, negative about Scott, except I, I wish he, you know, wishing him well, stuff like that. And after all those years, it's hard to find friends like that. So I got nothing, nothing but respect for him. Well, certainly. The best. Thoughts and prayers, uh, for the entire Nash family. We think a lot of Kevin Nash around these parts and never had the good pleasure of meeting his wife, but heard a lot of great stories from Kevin about her. And yeah, she's beautiful. Just thinking about them. And, and, uh, just, I know it's almost cliche to say thoughts and prayers, but just send some positive vibe folks, no matter what your belief system is. I, I hate to hear that there's been some folks who took this as an opportunity to, to kick Kevin about his political views or whatever like that, have some freaking humanity like you give me an example i didn't hear that well he talked about on his podcast how people just piled hate on about whatever they disagreed with kevin on and would just blow up his phone with all kinds of negativity and it's like dude can we not just be a good person uh, i can't well, i can believe that are you kidding these people that they, God, they just wake up every day miserable in their own personal life and all they want to do is say something negative about you especially if you're somebody of any notoriety, they hate it. They're jealous. Well, I just, out jealous. They don't have a life or they couldn't keep up with you. So, I mean, it's, you, you know, what I'm talking about, you know, you're, you're successful. You know what I'm talking about? Well, my, my hope is that, that Kevin and his wife find some peace and contentment, uh, because boy, they're just, um, going through maybe the most unimaginable tragedy of all. And, and we're pulling it is. Out. So, it is the most unimaginable treasure of all. Well, let's, uh, let, let's try to end the show. On I action. just want to tell you something too, which I haven't had a chance to voice on the air. Um, you sent Misty that check. We're talking about things of, of oh, for Mongo. Yeah, yeah, money for Mongo. in wrestling and Misty, uh, she cried for two days. That's awesome. All from the good uh, year. That was your idea to put that together. And I'll just be honest with you, I'm I'm sorry and disappointed for anybody that's been in his life that hasn't gone to see Steve. Yeah. Because he's going through hell. 
And if you were in his life at some point in time and he meant anything to you, I think you guys, anybody that's listening to this that cares, you know, you need to, if you have the opportunity, reach out to him. Because, boy, he's going through hell. Well, I... Uh, and anyway, I was... that check you gave her, she cried for two days. That's awesome. That's all because of Conrad Thompson. Well, I don't know about that. It was lots of donations over at moneyformongo.com. We had a lot of support. You organized it. You get the credit. Well, that's nice of you to say. No, it's the truth. 